how's it going guys crimson panda here welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new patch notes that just come out for hearthstone and that is 23.0 now we're obviously a mercenary channel so we're going to scroll straight down to all of the new mercenary updates so let's have a look so here we go mercenary updates tasks system rework so i've not looked at any of this yet so this is going to be completely new to me as well so just highlight all of this so it's easier to read so we're starting with patch 23.0 completing one task in mercenary task progression will automatically move you on to the next task in that mercenary progression okay so i think that was kind of normal wasn't it you can then continue that mercenary task progression until you have completed all the tasks for that mercenary okay the mystery stranger was initially designed to intend to give you more tasks but since that will now mostly happen automatically we are reducing that appearance rate he will still be appeared occasionally so that you can get more tasks if you abandon a task or complete a mercenary task progression. You will also still be able to get random new tasks if you leave any normal task slots open for a daily task refresh. Okay, so that hot bit, the task progression will automatically move on to the next one. That means you can max a mercenary out so much quicker. So basically you get one mercenary you're trying to get a task for. It's on task one, you complete it, you're on task two straight away. So... uh that is insane. That is, you don't have to go and find a, a mystery stranger to get a task. You don't have to wait for your daily next one. You literally, when it goes when it goes live, which I'm assuming is today, you're going to end up just having tasks upon tasks, which is huge for coins. The intent of this system update is to give players more of the tasks they want and more of the tasks overall, while allowing players to explore more engaging gameplay patterns. We hope this new system will be an improvement for players trying to progress specific mercenaries or anybody who is always looking for the next task to complete. We will monitor how this new system works and make adjustments if needed, but we are also working on an even larger task system rework that we, will, that we are hoping to share more information about later on this year. So that's actually massive. So people are going to be able to max a specific mercenary as long as they get a task for it. So... I think the hardest thing you're going to be able to do now is find a mystery stranger. So obviously Fellwood 6, go there, find a mystery stranger for a merc you want, and then you just complete his task chain until done. So that's a lot more packs you're going to be able to get and a lot more coins for a specific mercenary you want to play, which is huge. Okay, so new mercenary. So here we go, Merkai. A murky, sorry. So an epic fighter, max stats 1179. Abilities. So we've got slime time five, which is a nature. So it's a nature murloc. And we've got speed four, deal 12 damage to an enemy. Give it taunt until the end of next turn. So deal 12 damage to an enemy and give it taunt. So giving your opponent a taunt, which is kind of cool. If you're trying to, uh, if you're trying to kill off something specific and you've got attackers and they've got a taunt up. So that's quite interesting. The bubbly, bubbly Boodle 5, Nature, Speed 4, Cooldown 1, Restore 13 health to adjacent Murlocs, Swap Places, and both gain Divine Shield. Nature combo, repeat this. So Restore 13 to an adjacent, Swap Places, and you both gain Divine Shield. Nature combo, repeat this. So what is that swap back? You just have two divine shields. I mean, if you're attacking, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. That's that's a weird mechanic. And we got Pure Fisher 5, Speed 7, Cooldown 1, Murlocs. I uh, imagine this is supposed to be up here. It goes 15 attack. Oh, it's a Murloc. It's a summon. Okay, 15 attack, 10 health. Death rattle, deal damage equal to this minion's attack to three random enemies. Wow. Okay, so you scale that. You summon it, you scale it, and it's going to do a nice board clear on Death Rattle. That's cool. I like that. Okay, equipment. So we've got time to krill. Passive, whenever a friendly Murloc attacks an enemy with taunt, give them four attack. So that's very good with that first one. Slime time, give them something taunt, so you're always going to gain attack after that. You've got slippery when wet. Passive, after one of your characters loses Divine Shield or Frozen, its next ability is 3 speed faster. After one of your characters loses Divine Shield or Frozen. Wow, that's going to counter Frost. So if it gets Frozen, it's going to be quicker the turn after. So you might miss a turn, but you're faster the next turn. So that's interesting. We've got March of the Murlocs. Battle Cry, summon 2 10-10 Murlocs. So that's, 
that doesn't have oh that's actually just a battle cry so that's really good for valera counters summon two murlocs just off the bat so you have five summons could be good with juan stealing their attack very interesting murloc looking forward to trying that out and now that you can uh get his task on day one from a mystery stranger and then just completely do all his tasks change straight away getting all his coins that's amazing He'll be available free as part of the Voyage of the Sunken City reward track. Murky portraits are available as part of the Voyage Tavern Pass. Murky and his portraits are available for purchase in the Merchantry products at the end of the expansion period. Nice. Okay, so now we have Mercenary Balance updates and reworks. So this is going to be all of their new stuff they're going to be getting. So old 1082 Baron Geddon. His new stats is going to be 1086, so he's gained full health. And his Molten Blade equipment, the old one said that heating up deals 4 more damage. Now it's going to deal 7 more damage. So an extra 3 damage and an extra 4 health for Baron. King Mukla, we've got Dinner Time. Speed 2 cooldown 1. It's now going to be a Speed 1 cooldown 1. And Refreshing Bananas is going to be given additional 4 health. It's going to be now given additional 5 health, which is massive. That's cool. And then we've got Radioactive Bananas equipment. Old rank gives an additional 2 attack. And now it's going to be an additional 4 attack. So that's going to be very, very beefy bananas. And Zarella, we got Anointment. The old rank says that deal 15 damage plus 3 each time you restore 20 health. Now this is going to deal 20 damage plus 3 each time you restore 20 health. So it's just going up by 5 damage at the, uh, the initial first hit. We've got Robes of Purity. Anointment requires 5 less healing to upgrade, now requires 10 less healing to upgrade. So you're only going to have to heal for 10 to upgrade that. So, trying to bring an anointment back into the game. Okay, we've got Scabs here. Scabs is more stats, so he's gone from an 1177 to a 1381. And then his contract equipment, it says tactical strike combo effects deal 4 more damage. It's now going to deal 8 more damage, so it doubles that. And then the Honing Rod Shadow Blade gives 10 attack instead of 4 attack. So a 6 attack boost. Okay, Millhouse. So he has a stat increase. So he's going from a 69 health to a 74 health. And his Greater Arcane okay, Missiles shoot 3 missiles at random enemies dealing 15. Now it's going to shoot 3 random missiles at enemies dealing 20. So a 5 damage increase there. Arcane Power. Arcane Explosion deals 4 more damage. Where Arcane Explosion is going to deal 5 more damage. And enemies lose stealth. Wow, that's a big part. So if you're using Millhouse, you're going to be able to counter the Valera with that. So you can just Arcane damage on turn 1 after Valera has gone nuts. It's going to kind of make them kill Millhouse now to prevent that stealth being uh, being blocked. Okay, we got Carrial Roam next. We got old stats are 1178. New stat's going to be 1278, just gains one extra attack. Don't know how much of an impact that's going to do. And we've got Crusader's Blow, Attack an Enemy, Death Blow, Restore 40 health. Now it's Attack an Enemy, Death Blow, Restore 60 health. So if you can get a Death Blow off with that, which is really hard to do, you're restoring 60 health. Quite a lot of these are going to be good for PvE, I might note, because PvP isn't always great for these um, underwhelming mercs. We've got Tomb of Light Equipment. Old rank, passive, when this merc has taunt gain 8 attack, now it's while it has taunt gain 12 attack. So another 4 attack buff. That was the better equipment out of all of her, so that's actually um, really good to see that that's got a buff. Okay, Uther's getting a big lot of uh, balance changes. So Blessing of Protection, restore 10 health to a friendly character, give him taunt. Now it's restore 14 health to a friendly character and give him taunt this turn. Okay, so just an extra 4 health there. Lightbringer deals 4 more damage and slows the enemy by 2. It's going to now deal 6 more damage and slow him by 2. So just a 2 attack buff or 2 damage buff. Glimmering, Glimmering Pedrons. Avenging Wrath deals 4 more damage. It's now going to deal 8 more damage. Okay. Not too bad. Doubles the attack. So Garrosh, we've got more stats. We've got an 1184. New stats are going to be 1284. So he just gains 1 attack. And his Orcish Banner, Battle Shout also restores 10 health to your Orcs. Is now going to restore 15 health to your Orcs. Okay. Captain Galvagar, one of the new ones getting a buff. Fairly new. 
So we've got old stats is 1171, new stats are now going to be 1179. Render and cleave, attack an enemy, if it's not acted, apply 8 bleed to adjacents. It's now going to be attack an enemy, if not acted, apply 12 bleed. So an extra 4 bleed, which can now stack. And um, we got Drakthar's boon, and his is fatal strike, also applies 5 bleed. It's now going to do 10 bleed. So that could be a bleed 22, which is 44 to blues. That's crazy. In Ratherin, we've got... Old stats are 1273, new stats are 1279. Got Creeping Madness, attack an enemy. Next turn, they must use different ability or take 20 damage. It's now going to be they must use a different ability and take 25 damage, which is 50 to blues, which is nuts. We've got Black Dragon Scales, Tail Swipe also applies 5 bleed. Now it's going to apply 10 bleed. Okay, Vanessa, she needed a big buff. So we got Vanessa's stats, she gained an additional 3 attack, so she was 1075, she's now 1375. Um, we've got her Burgle Barrage, attack an enemy, combo, steal 5 attack from them. Now she attack an enemy, combo, steal 5 attack from them first. So you nick the attack and then hit them, but only if she's comboed out. Okay. Can't remember the speeds of them, so it's going to be difficult to see if you can combo that out. Um... And then we got extra pockets. After using makeshift weaponry, this might keeps five attack. Now it's going to keep ten attack. So she could be quite big. She could have twenty six attack for a red unit after using the makeshift weaponry, which is okay. But you do need to steal the attack first. So I don't think that's still going to see play. Next we have Toronde. So we've got arcane salvo. Deal eight damage to two random enemies. Now we can deal twelve damage to two random enemies. And if any die, repeat this. Wow, that's a big part. And that's a nature ability as well. So you can double that up with Tarande if you use the uh, Indlane roofs. Okay, and then we got the charm. So Arcane Shot deals 5 damage, 5 more damage. And now it's going to deal 15 more damage if the enemy has already acted. So doing this, doing this on a fast mercenary, if it doesn't kill this, it's going to deal an extra 15 damage. Which is kind of a lot. Okay, big buff for Varian. So we've got split and strike, attack an enemy, death blow, give your humans 12. Is now going to give your humans 15 on a death blow. We've got heroic leap, deal 14 damage to an enemy, your other humans are permanently one speed quicker. This is now going to deal 14 damage to an enemy, your other humans in play and bench are permanently one speed faster. So this actually buffs humans on the bench by one speed. So. You can actually, I imagine that's, they keep the speed increase even if they die, so that might see a little bit of play. Retaliation, after an enemy attacks this turn, gain 5 attack and attack it. Now this is going to gain 5-5, five, five, so you're going to gain some health on this, which could scale pretty nicely. War banner retaliation gives an additional 4 attack. It's now going to give an additional 210. Oh my god. That's going to be another smite. You're just going to keep retaliating for attacking units. And then this is going to just scale for days. That's crazy. The so cooldown, we got Reign of Destruction. 8 speed, cooldown 1. is now going to be 0 cooldown. But still 8 speed. So you're going to be able to Reign of Destruction every turn. Okay. Staff of Chaos. Passive, after an orc dies, gain 4 spell damage. Now it's going to be after an orc or demon dies, gain 4 spell damage. You've got the demon buff there, which is good for Gul'dan because he was good in the demon deck anyway. And there's a lot of uh, demon spawn builds as well. So that could actually, there could be a fell build coming on, especially with the new uh, the new mercs as well. Uh, we got Frenzied Attack, so attack an enemy. If this took damage this turn, deal 12 damage to a random adjacent. Is now going to be attacking enemy. If this took damage this turn, deal 16 to a random adjacent. So 4 damage more. Backlash. After an enemy damages an adjacent, gain 5 and deal that attack to this mer uh, damage to them. Is now going to gain 5 attack each time an enemy damages an adjacent ally this turn, deal this max attack. So it's each time, so it's not just the once. Oh my god. Trigor is huge now. Each time. Wow. That's going to be crazy. Okay, Sneed. 
Sneed needed a big buff. So he's got a stat buff. So he's gained two extra attacks. So he's now a 977. His active sword gained six attack for two turns. Attack an enemy has now gained nine attack for two turns and attack an enemy. Skulldust is bleed 10 now, not bleed 5, which scales, which stacks. And then extra blade. Sneed starts with active blades for one turn, is now battle cries. Start with active blades, saw 5, active for two turns. Battle cry. So the Sneed starts with. Okay, they just didn't have the battle cry keyword there, and they've given it for two turns now instead of the one, which is kind of good. Active Blade Saw 5 is going to be plus 6 attack. So he's going to be a 15 attack straight out of the gate for 2 turns. Which is actually a lot stronger. Okay, so next we have Edwin. Edwin looks like he's got a big buff here. So Assassin's Blade. Attack an enemy if hadn't acted. Gain 5 health and attack it again. Is now going to be, if it hasn't acted, gain 10 health and attack it again. Double on the health buff. Kingpin Bounty is now going to a 1 cooldown instead of a 2. Black Fag, adjacent pirates are full speed faster, and now going to be your other pirates are full speed faster. So you don't have to put them in the middle anymore. But it is still your other pirates, so he just doesn't need to go in the middle. Don't think that's going to see much change. And then even shares, Kingpin Bounty restores 10 more health to all friendly characters. Is going to be restoring 15 health and affects all friendly characters. Okay, so an extra 5 health there. <clears throat> Okay, next we have Thrall. Thrall's Lightning Storm is getting a buff, so it's going to be deal 10 damage to all enemies. It's now going to be deal 10 damage to all enemies, and they lose stealth. So a lot of loss of stealth here with uh, with Thrall and Millhouse. So AoE stealth is going to open up a lot. Oh, we have another one here as well. So Howl of Terror, reduced by 15 this turn. Now it's going to be reduced by 15, and they lose stealth. Oh my god, there is so much loss of stealth. Like, I'm just scanning through these. So, Rags die insects. It was deal 22 damage. Deathblow repeat this. Now it's deal 22 damage to a random enemy. It loses stealth. Deathblow repeat this. Oh my god. Warmaster Voon. They, it looks like they've gone more into Valera than Frost on this uh, this balance change. Warmaster Voon deal 8 damage to an enemy and one of its neighbors. Is now deal 10 damage to an enemy and one of its neighbors. They lose stealth. I suppose if you hit a stealth minion, you're going to see him, aren't you? Because you've hit them. So I can see why they've done this. Now Varden, big one. So we've got old rank deal 6 damage to 3 enemy mercs. They are 2 speed slower next turn. Now it's going to be shoot 3 missiles at random enemies. They deal 7 each and slow for 2 speed next turn. So it's more missiles instead of everything. Shoot three missiles at random enemies that deal seven damage each and slows for two speed next turn. So I guess you can hit the same mark three times and it'd be six speed slower. I actually like that. And we've got Chilling Amulet, Death Rattle, deal eight damage to all enemies. Freeze a random enemy until the next turn. Now it's going to be Death Rattle, deal 14 damage to all enemies and freeze a random enemy. So it's not freeze everything. Oh, there never was, was Chilling Amulet, was it? This is just dealing more damage on Death Rattle. Why have they buffed that? They shouldn't have buffed that. The 8 damage was enough. Okay, additional updates. Got while on a bounty, campfire will always will now allow work with one click instead of requiring selected to enter. And we got Valistar's bounty rewards will now be able to grant murky coins instead of Lady Anaconda coins. Multiple stacks of bleed will now be combined into the total bleed count and can be reduced by healing instead of erased entirely. Bleed damage will no longer be able to deal crit damage and adjacent mercenary cards. Oh no, adjusted mercenary cards display and screen space for better ability previews. Okay, so maybe you see your ability a bit bigger when you uh when you look at that. Okay, so that looks like it is about it for the mercenary update. So a lot of balance changes which are live now. So go over, make some new teams, see what is going to be working. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're not getting any new mercs other than Murky on April 12th. So make sure you guys log in on April 12th to get that new reward really chain, isn't it? With the, um, with the way they're doing their task system rework now. So hopefully we can max out our mercs a lot quicker, get those into PvP and hopefully the meta will change a little bit more. I'm afraid 
that Jaina and Frost are still going to be too good. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, try and find some counters. Um, but that's it. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.